Fact check. Trump needs a miracle to be right about Rosie vaccine timeline experts. say. I think this is back in May. My memory serves. I was right. May 15th, 2020. Quasi photographic memory. Not perfect. President Donald Trump has suggested multiple times that a coronavirus vaccine could come within months, an accelerated timeline that prominent health experts and veteran vaccine developers say is unlikely absent a miracle. Quote, we're looking to get it by the end of the year if we can, maybe before, Trump said Friday during a Rose Garden event centered on his administration's efforts to fast track a vaccine again May 15th. Think we're going to have a vaccine by the end of the year, he told reporters later in the day. But experts, this is how the media destroy. But experts say that the development, so any expert who doesn't agree should no longer be an expert and should be decertified in whatever they're doing. But experts say that the development, testing, and production of a vaccine for the public is still at least 12 to 18 months off and that anything less would be a medical miracle. What Trump did was unbelievable. This has been my point all along. Unbelievable. And so NBC should be taking what they reported on May 15th and say that their experts said this would be a miracle, and it is a miracle. Quote, I think it's possible you could see a vaccine in people's arms next year, by the middle or end of next year, but this is unprecedented, so it's hard to predict, said Dr. Paul Offit, O-F-F-I-T, a professor at the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania and the director of the Vaccine Education Center at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. He must know what he's talking about. I mean, Trump's just a developer and a systemic white supremacist. And then they go on NBC. Offit spent 26 years developing a vaccine for rotavirus, a common and dangerous childhood gastrointestinal disease before it was approved by the FDA in 2006. He said vaccine development typically takes decades, but that efforts to counter COVID-19 are being fast-tracked by scientists, drug companies, and nations, rallied by the World Health Organization. No, they weren't. They're rallied by Trump. World Health Organization. And they go on. In the best of circumstances, we should have a vaccine, or let's say vaccines, between 12 and 18 months, said Dr. Stanley Plotnick, credited with inventing a rubella vaccine in 1964. Trump's own top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, told the Today Show that January 2021, listen to this, January 2021, Mr. Peter, let's go back and find this so I can play this tomorrow. Fauci told the Today Show that January 2021, remember this is May 15th article, is the earliest the vaccine could be ready. But caution that the timeline is, quote, aspirational, unquote, and depends on companies producing a vaccine before researchers are sure it'll work. Fauci had no significant role in the, in the development of this vaccine. Why is he even commenting on it? Do you see how wrong He was. Do you see how wrong he is on so much? But he's political. January 2021 is the earliest a vaccine could be ready, but cautioned, that's aspirational. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be used at the end of November 11, 2020, or 12, 2020, early December. This is May 15th. It's not forever ago. And this guy's sitting in a position where he should know. So he's popping off about things he doesn't know, which he does a lot. Pressed on the issue at a Senate hearing, Fauci said again that while he was cautiously optimistic, there's no guarantee that the vaccine's actually going to be effective. Strike two, 95% effective. Rick Bright, who was ousted last month as Deputy Assistant Secretary of Health for Preparedness and Response, testified at a House hearing Thursday that an accelerated timeline might paint too rosy a picture. This is why Trump gets rid of these people. He says, you're not doing your job. Get the hell out of here. You're you're a liar. Get the hell out of here. You're misleading the public. Get the hell out of here. You can't do that. You can't do that. He does it with generals. 
And he does it with civilians. A lot of optimism is swirling around a 12- to 18-month time frame. If everything goes perfectly, we've never seen anything go perfectly, said Bright. I still think 12- to 18 months is an aggressive schedule. I think it's going to take longer than that. It took 10 months. 10 months. NBC didn't want this to be the case. And these damn companies waited till after the election to do this. I don't think there's any question that Donald Trump fraud, constitutional violations and all, would have won the presidency and would have won it in a landslide if this had been announced a week earlier. All of his efforts, the efforts of the vice president, the efforts of their people, it just is flopped out there by the companies in the case of Pfizer five days after the election. Remember, the Democrats were running on primarily the coronavirus that Donald Trump was killing people. When Donald Trump was saving people and trying to save everybody with this vaccine. I can't tell you how angry this makes me. Now, this guy Bright, who says, you know, 12 to 18 months is an aggressive schedule. It's probably going to take longer. Internationally recognized vaccine expert. Filed a whistleblower complaint alleging he was fired for opposing the use of an unproven coronavirus treatment promoted publicly by the president. Trump has called Bright a disrupt employee. Sounds like it. Monsef Slowey, the former head of a pharmaceutical giant, GlaxoSmithKline, their vaccine division, who Trump announced would help lead his administration's vaccine effort, called the president's projection of having a vaccine by the end of the year very credible but conceded that achieving the goal would be extremely challenging. Due to the severe nature of the pandemic, all three experts interviewed said they expect that a promising vaccine will be given emergency use authorization. And it goes on. None of the experts, two said no way, three said no way, one said it's possible, but it's pretty aggressive. And here's what the media and the media syncophants had to say. Cut 14, go. We think we're going to have a vaccine by the end of this year. And the Moderna news comes just one week after Pfizer announced its own COVID-19 vaccine with a similar effective rate of more than 90 percent. Happy talk that he's doing about a vaccine. Um, experts say it, he'd be in, need a miracle to be right. Would mean basically a miracle happening. That it will take 12 to 18 months to develop, test and produce a vaccine. I would bet my left arm, that Donald Trump can't spell yeah. vaccine, let alone be able to make a <laughs> prediction about when we're likely to see one. Are you worried that President Trump is going to push a vaccine on the public before it is thoroughly ready? Yes. It's not almost over. We won't have a vaccine momentarily. Are they cutting corners for political purposes? There's growing skepticism from the public about the safety of a vaccine. Also new evidence that the American public is worried that the Trump administration will rush a vaccine to market. Now scientists involved in the effort are already worried that President Trump is going to put pressure on the FDA. Now President Trump has promised a coronavirus vaccine by the end of the year. Would you trust that vaccine? There's very little that we can trust that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth. Kamala Harris, genius, not. This poor guy, Trump, I'll tell you what. They didn't give him an inch. They wouldn't report the truth. Really a a superb president of the United States. Substantively, uh, it's hard to it's hard to find another. Certainly, that that accomplished so much in such a short period of time against such odds and against such forces. It's just amazing. Now we're going to have at least two vaccines. We expect to actually have more. the The efficacy rate is up there with the measles vaccine. I mean, we've really never seen anything like this before. It's a very complex virus. You heard Fauci saying it, the earliest we'll have it, January 2021, and that's a fairly aggressive schedule because he's a bureaucrat. That's the bottom line, and he's talking about things he knows nothing about. He's the infectious disease guy, not the vaccines guy. You want to ask him the weather? He'll be a meteorologist. Whatever you need him to be, he'll be. 
But I sit here behind this microphone talking to you, my radio family. And what's been done to this president, and even with these vaccines, for these companies to hold back the announcement until after the election when all the work was done in the course of this administration really is, it's so awful. It's so grotesque. And Donald Trump and his group will in fact save hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people as a result of Operation Warp Speed. The seed money, the purchasing of the vaccines before they're even ready, just in case they are. The vials and the syringes all purchased and being manufactured. The transport, the delivery. You know, these, this vaccine has to be kept at, uh, at freezing temperatures. In fact, the, uh, the Pfizer one has to be kept at 70 below zero. So all these things had to be worked out, and they were worked out. While the media was trashing him, while the experts were trashing him, while Congress was trashing him, while they all said it wasn't possible, Trump was actually not only following the science, they were making the science. They were making the science. I'll be right back. Mark Levin. 